what's going on? So I've been trying to look into LaTeX a bit. Um, I do want to eventually get into writing uh, good documentation that's highly extensible uh, with the typesetting features of LaTeX and how great it is for academic papers. Uh, I'm looking at going back to school for um, my bachelor's degree and maybe even a master's. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to go, but I'm looking at that. So LaTeX would be really useful when writing research and scientific papers and just in general um, highly extensible good-looking documentation. So with LARBs, um, Luke uses LaTeX and has a lot of things built for it, but um, as soon as you download LARBs and get this whole system set up, a lot of the things aren't there. The functionality could be there, like the scripts are ready, but the actual packages you need and to, to use it, uh, use LaTeX, are not really present. So I was playing around with, um, that can go away, uh, I was playing around with overleaf.com so I have like an account on here and I was making some test documents in here but ultimately I wanted to be able to compile uh, the stuff on my own so um, I was just using it as like a site for some general documentation and reading up on some of the stuff but I was also uh, watching some of Luke's videos that I downloaded with YouTube DL from his uh, LaTeX playlist and going through that testing out um, the pretty much doing a follow along on his uh, CV creation tutorial and figuring out that stuff. But then I was really interested in doing the references and how to get um, the uh, bib file working. So um, if I go down to here, I got like a test citation right there. If I go to the other document, you can see the references at the bottom right there. I got a test reference. And then on my unibib file, which is in my documents uh, LaTeX folder, um, I go in there, you can see I just have like a sample uh, reference. And Luke has this set for um, in his uh, VimRC to like if it was a book, like in this instance, I can just do leader B, leader B or comma B, and it would give me like, you know, another uh, reference. So I can you know, build my references that way, just like he does with um, all of his books and references and articles and whatever. Um, so using that, now I can actually have references in here. But the hard part was that this wasn't working right out of the box. So it turns out I was missing some packages, even though I thought I was, uh, I thought I had everything downloaded. Like I had some other stuff. I had like fonts extra and some text live stuff and whatever to have my R Markdown documents compiled to LaTeX because they don't need a full, you know, package of LaTeX because LaTeX can be really huge. But what Luke recommends for on his site is just for offline compiling and creation of LaTeX documents, so you don't need a website or any sort of um, package downloading, is just download the whole thing. Yeah, it's huge, but you'll have everything you need, period. And I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not even using 20 gigs of this computer's hard drive, so I'm not exactly hurting if I download one, one and two gigabytes of uh, LaTeX packages. So. To get the bib bibliography working, I had to um, install everything. So it was like a text live dash, I think, full, and like text live dash lang. Um, just using a normal Pacman install, SYU, um, install lang, install full. That installs everything. So now I have everything. Um, then I just have to use uh, use package, uh, bib LaTeX with bibber as the back end. <coughs> and then um, add the bib resource. Um, I'm not sure if I need the whole file path in here, but just in case, I have it in there, and it's working. So, um, you know, if it's working, I'm not going to break it. Um, and then, you know, I just have a citation right here. Um, I just have some text right there. Um, and uh, da -da 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 -da, uh, I have the number reference, and then it's citing, you know, this. Basically like a Wikipedia article reference, which is really cool. I really like this. Um, use LaTeX, you fool. Um, yeah, so I mean, it, it it's great. This I love this. Um, it is, you know, as you can see over here, it is very, very verbose. Um, there's a lot of text and um, stuff going into this, but um, after watching Luke's videos and seeing the extensible nature of this, um, what did you say, markup language? But typesetting. Uh, I haven't even gotten to the stuff where you can like make your own commands like he did on his glossary video for the Rigveda text or whatever Sanskrit thing he was working on. But 
just right now already this is like really cool I mean sure if I'm just gonna take notes or something I would just probably use um, R Markdown or something and then I can compile that to LaTeX and that would be fine but for like a really nice well formatted um, academic paper with references and images and just all that all that stuff to make a really highly polished product I would probably use LaTeX in this instance um, so that's what you had to do to get the um, bibliography working but uh, also I wanted the live compilation now there's the auto compiler script that he talks about which I don't think came in LaTeX or LaTeX it came in LARBS I actually had to watch his video and then pause the video and write out the auto compiler script but um, and using enter ENTR um, that utility to do the auto compilation uh, so it uses the compiler script with the text files dot uh, tech um, and then it calls with enter the auto compiler script but that does not work on LaTeX so I actually had to download a um, package from the AUR and it's also like and also use it in my VimRC I had to call the, the plug so um, uh, where is it <coughs> right here uh, Vim live LaTeX preview so I call that with um, the plug excuse me just eight uh, I call that with the plug and then I also downloaded it from the AUR because you have to add some like something to your path uh, some binary or something or other but what that lets me do is that now I can actually have auto compilation on here so you can see how it says LaTeX right here I could just go um, there live compilation Yeah, so like right there, I have live compilation. So that was actually that package. So I had to both install from the AUR and add it to my uh, plug section of my VimRC. Doing both of those allows me to then use um, backslash O, so the O character backslash O, and that turns on auto compilation. And then it's just exactly like it was before: leader C to compile, and then leader P to preview the PDF document it produces. Um, if I go here. You can see I have all these files in here, but here's the tech file, and then the PDF it's actually previewing. And I think if I actually leave, um, yeah, so there's actually a section in the VimRC that removes all those um, tech building files, so all those files that in are involved in the building of the tech file. Um, so if I like say I compile this leader C, you know, it produces all these other other things. But um, Luke has that script written or that um, piece of stuff in the MRC, that as soon as you leave this file, save and close, um, it'll delete all those excess junk files that you don't care about. So now you just have the tech file and the PDF file, the raw text and the PDF product. Um, so now I have my live preview, which is really what I wanted. I really wanted the live preview. I have a live preview and I have the ability to write LaTeX code, code, code. Um, I can write LaTeX, I have my references working, and so now it's just figuring out packages, syntax, and then really to the point where most pro programming learning comes to a head is really just, okay, what's your use case? And then once you have a use case, you can actually like, you know, figure something out. Like if you just say, I wanna learn this thing, you just browse for a while, but you don't really like learn it because you're not really using it for something. But if you have a use case like, oh hey, I need to write a paper for this class. Oh crap, how do I do that? You research how to do those things. Oh, I need to insert an image. Uh, figure out how to do that. How do I center that image? Figure out how to do that. So that's really like where I'm at now. Is like, okay, I got some of the basic syntax. Uh, I'm writing it in Vim, so I have all the Vim macros and Vim keys and everything to do text editing, which is great in Vim. Um, but now I just need a use case. Like, what the hell am I going to use it for? And so really, I need to go back to school. So I would actually use this in school as well as just like probably markdown documents for um, note taking. Um, and so now one of the things I'm currently doing is I am going through my uh, Vim wiki and just adding um, information to these different uh, wiki pages I have and describing what different pieces of packages do and how I might use them so that way I have a way of um, having all that information readily available. So that's what I've just been. That's what I've been doing the last couple days is figuring out how to get Bibber working. Um, 
and do my references in a law type document. But this is what I got so far, I've just been playing around with the um, the CV video examples that he gives and working through that. Uh, yeah, so now I hope to actually have a use for this one day. That's it. Bye.